So we're here on the bridge between Eton and Windsor. We've just arrived and uh, we're gonna have a look around Windsor Town. Castle's back up there on the hill. We'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, what a place, uh, really uh, a lot of uh, high-end yeah. properties and uh, places here. They're, looking back there, you can see that that's Eton back that way, famous Eton College. And then the other way over that way, I'm gonna show you is Windsor, Windsor Castle. And then you got the Thames going down that way. Here we are, it's what everybody comes to see at Windsor, the Queen's favourite residence, Windsor Castle. It's never been breached in over a thousand years of history and the walls there are 14 feet thick. We don't have time on this trip to uh, go into the castle, but we'll come back next year and spend the whole day. So that'll be a future video. Yes, that's Queen Victoria statue outside of Windsor Castle. She's the second longest serving monarch in British history. Queenie says hi. This looks like a World War II amphibious boat and that's what I thought it was. But actually I learned later that it was purpose built. It's only seven years old and it's designed specifically to do these uh, tours on the river, which we're gonna do now. We're on a duck boat, a World War II tour boat so uh, we just saw it and we thought well we will have a go on it it goes on the river should be good well good to Windsor Duck Tours everyone welcome to Windsor uh, it's my mate Graham my name's AG we're both local boys we are both worked on the River Thames for the last 30 odd years now driving passenger boats and all sorts of other boats up and down the river so just to reassure you you're in safe hands okay Counting all the something like time. Council put it here 2012, cost £100,000. Um, the shape of it is shape of a crown. There's 60 of them round stones, 60 jets of water, and that represents a year for every year the Queen's been on the phone up to 2012. Saxon times, the River Thames was called Temesis, which literally means dark waters, and Temesis is believed to be one of the oldest place names in the English language. Today. The Round Tower is the oldest part of the castle we can see from the river. When you look at the Round Tower, it's around nine and a half up. We'll see when we get much closer, if you've got dodgy eyes. Um, it's travelling about 20 tons a second today, isn't it? which means about seven miles up river when they measure the flow of the water that goes under Mania Bridge is flowing under there 20 tonnes a second, which is not a lot at all. Um, in the height of floods, four years ago, it's 400 tonnes a second. So a big difference. We stayed at home that day. This is the main bridge across the Thames that links Windsor and Eton. It's where we started our little tour and it was closed to traffic in the 70s because they found cracks in the masonry. So uh, ever since then it's just been a pedestrian bridge. Local historians, well not all of them, some local historians believe the name Windsor is derived from the uh, Anglo-Saxon word Winsler which means a big witch, 
when you think about it, you would need a big windshield, wouldn't you, to supply uh, to build the castle and to supply it. So it does make sense. And there is her favourite palace. Um, she spent a lot of time. She, she spent a time with the uh, winter, so she's really fond of winter castle. She's here most weekends of the week. Not every weekend, but most weekends. So if you're around tomorrow, keep your eye on the flags. It may change. She normally drives riders. She's like we're normally supporting us because all the tourists speed as ones, as you can see. These are mute swans. They lived around 15 to 20 years old. They make for life mute swans. Pair up for life. Bit of a problem misconception that Queen owns all the swans. She doesn't. She owns about half of them. About 50%. The other half belong to Guild and London. Icarus was first founded in 1440 by Henry VI, originally to give up free education to 70 gifted local poor boys. They churned it up so finely because uh, I'm told they're not allowed to take that small away. They could do it, they could physically do it, there's a bridge on the other side, so they could take it, but they're not allowed to for some reason. anywhere in the world so if you see anything you like just let us know <laughs> we'll buy it for you and we can ship it out <laughs> or they can ship it out for So we've had a, t a tour on the Thames on the duck boat, that was amazing, and now we're stood outside the entrance to Windsor Castle. But yeah, it's a fantastic town, a lot of uh, really old buildings to see, and um, hopefully we'll see a little bit more of it and show you that. Tiny little house, Nell Gwynn's. That's as wide as it is, look. Right? That lovely old knocker. <laughs> Carpenter's Arms, lovely old pub there, look. Right? Lots of lovely old pubs and uh, restaurants in the little quaint streets that are opposite Windsor Castle, so it's a great place to come and enjoy a meal. 
Now that's the old uh, museum in there, under that uh, covered area. They would have held a market probably once a week. Entrance to the uh, train station, again directly opposite Windsor Castle, so this would have been where Queen Victoria would have arrived on her visits to the castle. That ceiling. Yeah. This is the original ticket office for the station, but it's now been turned into a tourist information point. Where we just come from? Originally the uh, train would have come right up into that building there because it's all been converted now into shops and restaurants. But the original train is down the bottom. It says the locomotive is a full-scale replica of the GWR Achilles class 422 locomotive number 3041. It was built in 1894 and originally named Emlyn after Lord Emlyn, chairman of the Great Western Railway Company. Repainted in 1897 in GWR livery, the great locomotive, 57 feet long, was renamed the Queen, especially to pull the new six carriages of the Royal Train. No examples of these locomotives survive today, and the Queen, later renamed James Mason, was withdrawn from service in 1912. Wow. Right, so we're going to eat at the Boatman pub. Yeah. It's the only pub on the waterside of Windsor apparently, so it looks good. Well, that's it for now. We hope you've enjoyed it. We'll leave you with a last look at Windsor Castle. I'm sure we'll be back next year for a longer visit. As always, please subscribe. If you like the video, we'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.